male asexual reproduction. Also, I don't have any examples of this. The concept is the sperm doesn't dump its ribosomes and can burn out its proteins, or another cell functions as an egg. However, if this happens, the gene expression will be too much, too little, real too soon. It would, bot, many things, body parts would overgrow, overexpress, tissues would not be established, many tissues would fuse before they develop their function and space, or should I say space and function between. You might have a lump of cells in the shape of the adult, but a lot of things is a job of two, which is the alpha of the egg, and for embryonic development, which is the foundation for further development. I said the Kamala dragon had, had diploid young. Her egg that didn't hatch were haploid females. I think it's a mostly a theory, but a lot of evidence showing she may have made sperm like cells from failed eggs. There, there, there's lizards and birds, or these this species of lizard. They have the females have all the material to make to be males or make male cells. Reverse of humans, which are X Y. Y for males, and everything else is female. It's female or species general. They actually tried replacing a sperm of a mouse with another egg. Even then, they had to do a lot of tricks to make it more like a sperm. Even then, the, most of the baby mice had severe health pro died, and only one survived with severe health problems. They even tried pu inducing parthenogenesis in a rabbit. The couldn't make it past the embryonic stage. But they tried just this of replacing an egg cell with a skin cell. Well, actually, they did stuff to the skin cell to make it more like an egg. And every one of them baby mice grew up perfectly healthy. So, if a feminist say, how oh, we don't need men, or assume we won't need men, just tell them about we can also make eggs too, synthetic eggs too, and not need women. Just as easy, or maybe a little bit easier. The whiptail lizard is actually quite different. Their gametes are fused. One nucleus builds the yolk and other proteins and guidance proteins for the embryo. And the other nucleus produces the epigenetic gene expression from the parent in the later form. And later they recombined. A lot of scientists may have started, fear they may have started with a fused gamete. In humans, that would cause Down syndrome. I guess for a lizard in the wild, there are pretty other options for it to survive and adapt to. There's intelligence not as a necessity, or other mutations different. This problem, and uh, with a fused egg, I guess only one nucleus would get fertilized, the other would get reabsorbed with a few sperm. I think they would both, co they might create a triploid uh, uh, offspring and maybe it be the one to pass this down. Since these whip tail lizards are X, Y, just like us, they probably could have, like, uh -uh. if it did this, probably would have Y chromosome females produce because they're still producing eggs and double X females and the Y chromosome females can produce both the X chromosome only female and over time it became more predominantly double X chromosome female.